हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इफेक्ट्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस हेयर वी हैव दिस टेबल दिस इज स्टडी स्टेट ग्रोथ रेट्स इन द सोलो मॉडल विद टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस ओके हेयर वी हैव दीज फोर की वेरिएबल्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन व्हिच इज कैपिटल पर इफेक्टिव वर्कर कैपिटल पर इफेक्टिव वर्कर इज डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल के व्हिच इज इक्वल टू total capital upon effective number of workers effective number of workers is represented by l times e where l is the total labor and e is the efficiency of labor okay now we know that in the steady state this capital per effective worker is constant and that is a reason its growth rate in the steady state will be zero okay because in the steady state capital per effective worker is constant and that is the reason steady state growth rate of capital per effective worker will be zero next output per effective worker output per effective worker is denoted by small y which is equal to total output upon effective number of workers okay now because we know that in the steady state this capital per effective worker is constant okay in the steady state this capital per effective worker is constant and output per effective worker is a function of capital per effective worker so if this capital per effective worker is constant then this output per effective worker must also be constant clear and if this output per effective worker is constant in the steady state then its growth rate will be its steady state growth rate will be zero clear okay next we have output per worker output per worker can be denoted as total output upon total labor we can calculate its value from this equation that y by l will be equals to this times e okay now because this small y which is output per effective worker is constant in the steady state and this efficiency of labor it grows at a rate of g y by l equals to this y times e in the steady state this is constant and this efficiency of labor it grows at a rate of g so if this grows at a rate of g then we will say that output per worker must also grow at a rate of g clear it is the rate of technological progress so here we will write this rate of technological progress clear last one total output now total output is denoted by capital y it is equal to again we can calculate its value from this equation this times okay now again this small y which is output per effective worker it is constant in the steady state this efficiency of labor it grows at a rate of technological progress which is g and this total labor it grows at a rate of n y equal to this times okay this is constant in the steady state this grows at a rate of technological progress which is g and this total labor it grows at a rate of uh, n so we will say that total output will grow at a rate of n plus g okay in the steady state this will grow at a rate of n plus g is this clear a high rate of saving leads to a high rate of growth only until the steady state is reached a high rate of saving leads to high rate of growth only until the steady state is reached 
वंस द इकोनॉमी इज इन अ स्टडी स्टेट द रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ आउटपुट पर वर्कर डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन द रेट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस according to the solo model only technological progress can explain sustained growth and persistently rising living standards the introduction of technological progress also modifies the criteria for the golden rule the golden rule level of capital is now defined as the steady state that maximizes consumption per effective worker steady state consumption per effective worker is this one okay and we will maximize it by taking its derivative so i will write okay we will derivate this next step this will be the marginal product of capital and this will be delta plus n plus g okay now we know that in order to maximize it we will put this derivative equals to zero this will become marginal product of capital equal to delta plus n plus g or we can also write it as marginal product of capital minus delta equals to n plus g okay so basically steady state consumption is maximized if this marginal product of capital equals to delta plus n plus g or we can say that mpk minus delta equals to n plus g fine that is at the golden rule level of capital the net marginal product of capital which is marginal product of capital minus the rate of depreciation which is delta it is equal the rate of growth of total output we have just calculated uh, that the rate of growth of total output is n plus g okay so when this mpk minus delta equals to n plus g we will say that we are at the golden rule level of capital is this part clear fine thank you